It's recording. So today I want to talk about my transition from being a personal trainer to a computer programmer. So this is going to be a long story. Um, I want to break up this into two parts where the first part being uh, why I got into sports, why I got into fitness, why I decided to pursue an exercise science degree for college. And the second part will be about how I eventually moved into computer programming why I did it, um, whether you should do it too. So as early as I can remember growing up, I've loved playing basketball. You've definitely seen me act out shooting a basketball as if I was going to put it into a real basket. I wanted to be good at it. I wanted to be around it at all times. Uh, but my mom didn't let me. She didn't want me to play a contact sport. She didn't want me to um, be in the park late at night because Shit used to get really dangerous in Flushing back then. Um, so there was those reasons. From sixth grade, instead of basketball, I learned how to swim. I hated swimming. <laughs> I did not want to swim. I, I thought it was really stupid. She signed me up for these Saturday morning classes where I would learn from beginner, intermediate, all the way to advanced level classes. The, the most natural transition for me from learning how to swim and being good at it was to swim for a team. Uh, at the time, there was this new boys club that was opening in Flushing. And uh, I don't really know how to describe the boys club. It's kind of like a, it was a place for kids to go after school so that they can get homework help, so that they could join a swim team, join a basketball team, be part of like community initiatives that allowed people to not stay on the streets. Uh, but. Okay, here's the official definition from the website. Boys and girls clubs help millions of kids and teens develop essential skills, making lasting connections, and have fun. Club members experience a safe place to learn, play, and grow. Yeah, that's basically what it was. And they had a swim team. And uh, very quickly I made friends with the other swimmers in the area, and uh, I Again, I didn't like swimming, but I loved the competitive uh, team aspect of, of swimming. Going to meets, having two-a-day practices with everybody else, everyone having to work hard, complain about the same thing, <laughs> and just win and lose together. I loved that. Uh, I wish I had the tapes for when I used to swim. My mom would record all the meets. <laughs> By the way, I also used to be really fat growing up. Like I ate McDonald's every day. Um, I was pretty spoiled. I wanted to eat junk food. Um, it's a big reason why I still snack and eat a bag of chips every single day. I got pretty, I was a pretty uh, round kid back then. Um, but swimming helped all of that. So it was only natural to try out for my high school team. And surprisingly, I got in pretty easily. Like I, I think I was one of the better uh, tryouts, tryoutees to make it onto the team. And uh, that's when my, my hate for swimming really started to come out. I started skipping a lot of the uh, practices. And it got bad. Uh, it, very quickly, the coach was not happy about it. And I, long story short, I got kicked off the team. Noodle. 
But it was around that point where I told myself, I want to play basketball. Like, this is, like, I wanted to play basketball. I don't know, like, I've always wanted to play basketball. I felt like this would be the moment that I would just leave swimming and do what I've always wanted to do. And I spent the next three years, my sophomore, junior, and senior year, trying to make the basketball team. I wanted to play basketball. I was no good. I would go home after school and I would practice at the park late at night. I would practice at the gym, at the YMCA. Look at those weak arms you got, yo. Look at all that weak arms. Are you too. killing me? Are you killing me talking about this? Look at those weak legs too, yo. And just go online, go on YouTube, and see what other professional athletes did, see what videos were out there to learn how to be a better basketball player. Uh, without question, there was no way I was making the high school basketball team. It's recording. I was not gonna make it. Like some of these kids were like freaking dunking in like sophomore year, junior year. No, yeah. And it's not like Brooklyn Tech was a very good school. I just, I just wasn't good enough. Um, but that that led me to. During that time, I just learned a whole lot. Uh, for one thing, when I first started to swim, I learned that persistence pays off tremendously. So despite my chubbiness and my fatness and people po poking fun of me and whatever, um, at the end of the day, people would really respect me and I, I felt that. I mean, to this day, I still carry that sort of mantra and that mentality for whatever I do. Be good, work hard on something, and uh, people will respect you. Uh, I definitely was not respected <laughs> playing basketball early on. Like I, like I was made fun of a lot. <laughs> but it, it really drove to my brain that like, you know what? I don't care if I started late. I don't care if I started, uh, you know, five years before you, I'm going to be good and there's going to be a day where I'm going to surpass you and be better than you. And uh, that, that, really, that really kind of forged a competitive spirit in me. Um, I also thought, I also calculated a lot of things in terms of like my progress as a basketball player. And one of the things that I recorded a lot was all of like my training, all of my like all of the things that I did, my, my recollection of like games that I, I would play and things that I should have done on the basketball court, it's crazy. I have an archive of it. Um. <clears throat> Leo Kwan blog, first blog ever, first video blog. I know we, we've been trying to do this for a really, really long time, Leo, but it's the first time we're going to do it. If we go that hard at what we do, basketball, foam rolling, all this basketball shit, I think we might as well document what we do. 50 pounds on the incline press. I did uh, 65, 65s on the flat bench. Um, I went to the university at Buffalo, and when I first, uh, when I first applied and got in, I had marked my degree that I wanted to pursue as marketing management. Like, there's just one day during the summer, I was going through the majors that the University at Buffalo supported, and I saw this thing called exercise science. And I thought, what the hell is exercise science? It turns out it's everything that I want to do. It's everything that I'm interested in, and it dawned on me that I wasn't going to play as a professional basketball player. So I thought, if I can't be them, train them. And go! And that's what I did. I went to college, did a lot of internships. Like I knew as early as my freshman year that I wanted to graduate and train athletes.
you know, there was a strength coach that I had watched when I was in high school, hoping to be a professional basketball player. He was the trainer for Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire. Now on Nash. Nash takes him off the dribble. Wrap around to Stoudemire and the foul. What a pass from Steve Nash. <laughs> in order to get a degree in exercise science, you had to do internships. So I thought, holy crap. Why don't I just reach out to this coach and ask if I could intern for him? So gave a call. Uh, first time I called, they said they didn't need anybody. Uh, ask next year. And I followed up literally eight months later and I said, hey, I am still interested in this opportunity. Can I live in Denver for five months and intern for you? And luckily enough, I got the internship. I remember when I, when I was talking to Eric, Eric, if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you one more time. You know, I know I was a little bit crazy back then. Still a little crazy now, but um, thank you. So when I was talking to Eric, the coach, and he said, let's, let's do this thing. I remember literally getting on my knees and I was just so happy. Like I was like, this is the best opportunity ever. I give you that 360. I give you that 360. Brandon Jennings life. You know? Just thinking about life. Keep going, keep going, keep going around. Yeah. Yeah. Am I getting paid?